Hey guys, my name is Ace Roth, and today I'm bringing you another gameplay analysis. Um, this is a game of domination on firing range, as you can see. This player, his name is Davy25, and he's a guy that I play with every now and then. Um, I've I've been playing with him for a while. He was on the Modern Warfare 2 game battles team I was on, and he's an absolute beast. He pretty much is always at the top of the scoreboard. Uh, he always gets a bunch of kills, and he's got great gun skill. He's one of the best players I have played with. So. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this game. Uh, he goes, I think it's, he has 40 something kills and only 2 deaths. So he definitely does really well uh, and his team does really well too. So let's get right into the game. So his team has taken C and B which is obviously what you want to do from that C spawn. And now he's sitting up right here and you might think this is a little risky because his back is completely open. Uh, but as you can see the team is spawning back in the firing, the other team is spawning back in the firing range. So he doesn't really have to worry from behind him. Now he sees that guy up in tin um, in the top of the garage on his UAV and he sees him run by a few times but he decides to go up here and I think this is a good play, it's a safe play uh, because usually when people are in top 10 they want to stay up there and they want to camp. Right here though he wasn't being as aware as he could have been. Right there he could have seen uh, that that guy was that guy might have been waiting for him on the steps and he could have been a little more careful. Uh, but yeah when the, when the enemy is in top 10 usually they like to stay up there, they don't like to um, run down the stairs too much because you're pretty vulnerable when you're running down the stairs because uh, if any enemies are there they're going to see your feet before you're going to be able to see them so you usually die if you're running down the stairs at the same time as someone else is running in uh, but in that case I think it was fine so here he decides to chase this guy it works out fine for him because his teammate was helping him there that that is a little tricky sometimes you don't know when you want to chase or not because they could just be lying prone um, waiting for you and in that case you usually lose the gunfight but right now he's just going to stick in their spawn and, and try to uh, try to pick them off as they spawn. And now they're spawning out, so he's going to uh, back off. Right here he sees an AFK guy. He goes for the AFK guy. He could have seen that other guy on the radar. And if he had been paying a little more attention, he might have seen him on the radar and been able to turn on him uh, and get him first. So if you, if you see an AFK guy, I've mentioned this in some of my other videos, your first instinct is, okay, I'm going to kill this guy. It's a free kill. He's just standing still, not playing. Uh, but you want to be careful about that because if you do that, sometimes in situations like that, someone else who's actually playing is going to come up beside you and kill you before you can kill them. So always go for the guy who is the biggest threat to you first. Because uh, more often than not, if there's a guy looking at you and a guy not looking at you, if you kill the guy who's looking at you, the other guy won't have enough time to turn around and kill you before you kill him. So now he's kind of moving back and forth. He's not quite sure where to go. Um, I think he threw that over there because the guy near A on the SR-71 looked like he was coming around, uh, but he didn't come around in time. And one of the unfortunate things about frag grenades is that you can't put them back in your pocket, obviously, after you pull them out to cook them. That's kind of nice about Semtex. But, so he had to throw it anyway. Um, so, oh well. So now that his team has an SR-71 in the air, it's pretty easy for him to set up where he thinks is safe. Right now he sees that there are at least two guys in the, in the construction building there, um, and it doesn't look like they're on the bottom floor. So you want to be careful about sitting behind those sandbags if you think that people are in top wood, uh, because whenever you're shooting down on an, an enemy, you have the advantage. So if, if you're on the lower playing field, you need to watch out uh, when you're engaging people who are higher up, because they're going to have a, a distinct advantage over you. Right here he gets in a little sticky situation, he thinks he might be able to get out of it, but everybody's spawning back there and they all start shooting at him and now he's low, so he runs away. And that's obviously the best move. Um, you don't want to get cocky and try to get, you know, a triple or a quad or something. Uh, and here he's running into the spawn with just his pistol. Um, I think he feels confident about that because he knows that the enemy team is not the best. Uh, but th this is definitely a little risky. There he switches out his gun. That's what he was going for in the first place because he didn't have any ammo. He wanted a new gun. Uh, but going in the going into the spawn like that is a little bit risky. You got to be pretty confident um, that your ability is definitely better than the enemy's, and you got to be pretty confident about where your team is and where the enemy is going to be going. Because if you obviously if you see yourself facing two or three people and all you've got is a python with six rounds in it, uh, you have to get pretty lucky to come out of that alive. Uh, but it worked out for him in the end. Now he has his Huey. He's just going to set up here. As I'm sure all of you know, if the enemy's spawning in firing range, this is one of the best places to be. Uh, and you'll see throughout the game, uh, the when when Davy is there, the enemy kind of just spawns there and then jumps right into that middle building. Uh, and just a tip for you guys, if you are spawning back in firing range and you're being spawn trapped a little bit, um, don't jump through that door every time because there's almost always some guy just sitting there watching. So go around A side or go around C side. Just choose one. Don't go through the middle unless you're confident that there's no one here. So he's just using a strapper gunner. I'm going to speed it up. Uh, 
just because there's not a whole lot to say about trapper gunners. You just figure out where they're going to spawn and then hold down the trigger. Uh, there it gets taken down. Anyway, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about r perks and my favorite types of perks because you can see here he's got a weapon with two attachments that he picked up off the ground. Um, and I actually, I never use Warlord, Warlord unless I'm just messing around if I'm like doing tomahawk stuff or something and I want an extra grenade or an extra lethal. Um, it's, and, and that's because I like perks that are sort of, I guess you could say, uh, they affect your character instead of your guns. So I don't, I don't want a perk like Warlord where I get two attachments on a gun but it doesn't do anything beneficial for me as, as the player. Uh, I like something like Sleight of Hand because then if you run out of ammo, you can pick up a new gun and Sleight of Hand still helps you out a whole lot. Uh, and same with things like Scavenger, if you have Scavenger on uh, and you pick up a new gun, you can still replenish your ammo for that gun uh, and stuff like that. And most of the perks are like that. You have some like Scout that obviously Scout is primarily beneficial for snipers, uh, but Scout Pro can, can help out with regular guns too because you swap your weapons really fast. Um, and even things like Hardened, like uh, Hardened obviously affects any gun that you've got picked up, but you know, if if I'm going to be running around picking up various guns, uh, Hardened is really, I think it's really good for a certain type of gun, but obviously not every gun. Like if I have like a sniper rifle or something, or an SMG, Hardened is not going to really do that much for me. Uh, so something like Sleight of Hand is going to benefit me pretty much regardless of what gun I have. Um, same goes for things like Steady Aim, uh, you know, most of the green perks and blue perks as well. Um, but yeah, that's just my two cents on perks. Anyway, uh, one thing you'll notice Davey doing throughout this game is when he feels like he's in a fight that it's going to be tough for him to win or where he might die, uh, he backs out. There's no reason that you need to just stand your ground and try to gun the other guy down uh, just, you know, on principle or something. If you feel like you're going to be in a situation that it's going to be really difficult for you to win, uh, just back out. Just, you know, turn around, regroup, maybe wait for some teammates, make sure you're reloaded and your, your health is back to full. Uh, and then re-engage if you feel comfortable or just, you know, find an alternate route. There's really no reason to, uh, you're just going to end up killing yourself if you try to jump in too much. And that's one of the reasons Davey's such a good player and he posts up such good scores. Um, he's not overly cautious, but he's just the right amount of cautious. He is he's able to decide when he needs to back out and when he can uh, keep going. And, and that really keeps him alive and lets him get good scores. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. He went 48 and 2 with one capture and zero defense, but that's really just because his team was all over the objectives from the beginning. You can see that they won by more than 100 points. So, thanks for watching.